Hey there. Hey, it's me, GV. Uh, Hi. That was a little bit of an odd intro. Sorry. <laughs> it's been quite a while since I've recorded. Uh, yeah, yeah. With my schedule this month has it's it's been insane. It's been crazy. Oh wow, you scared me. Illinvonius. Hi there. You look sad, man. You look like some things are going on in your life that you're really not quite happy with. That's okay. Maybe we'll. We will spur you on up with this adventure in Oblivion. Literally, we're in the Daedric Realm of Oblivion. You ever been here before? I have multiple times. Man, you look old. Look, you look like an old NPC. Hey, welcome back, everybody. My name is GV, and I hope you guys are having a good time. You may notice, the more astute of you may notice, that um, my cadence is a little altered, and that's because I'm sick at the moment. Rarely ever sick, but recently got back from my trip to Las Vegas, Near the end of the trip, I had a horrible, 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 horrible fever. Like, it was real bad. I was writhing in pain, uh, like, the whole day. And then I vomited, like, on three separate accounts. Each time, felt a little bit better. Hell yeah, there we go. Felt a little bit better. And um, the last time, eventually, it seemed like I was going to have to go vomit for, like, a fourth time. I know this is more detail than any of you guys want. But I'm going to say it anyways. All right, I think he's got it. Um... But then I just slept for about, uh, like, a power nap for, like, four hours. Oh, these things. I forgot about those. Yeah. There's, like, um, bouncing Bettys in the Daedric Realm of Oblivion. Those things right there. So we want to stay away from those, obviously. Yeah, so I took a power nap, and um, I got through the fever. When I do get sick, my body moves through it very fast. But, um, yeah, man, it's it, it sucks. Because it is rare, but when it happens... It sucks. So anyways, let's save the game here. Um, but regardless, the fallout of that sickness is that now I have some sort of cold and I'm just dealing with a stuffy nose and a minor cough. So for the next few recordings, you guys are going to be a uh, witness to that. So we have some Magicka Essences here, which as you can probably tell, restore our Magicka. We've got a Scamp in the corner, which we're gonna snipe. Got him. Yes, right towards your death, please and thank you. Well, that's what I want to do, buddy boy. But go ahead and take the glory. Feel free. Um, oh, we have another guy here. Yeah, our chill rend is going to be far greater. We can take it out. What's happening right now? Take out Sufferthorn equipped? Yeah, but it's not showing Sufferthorn. It's showing my fists. What? Do we not have Suffer? What is going on here? I'm literally hitting the, the second button. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did that guy die? Oh, crap. Okay, let's reload that. Let's help this guy out a little bit more. Why is it saying Sufferthorn's equipped when it's not equipping it? This is really weird. I feel like this is a bug. Uh, let's go into our journal and put Chill Rend here. We'll use Chill Rend in the Daedric plane of oblivion although i do want to stick to daggers as most of you know but um yeah chill rend is cool and we'll use it for a while because it will increase our blade and we just don't have the marks and we just don't have the damage to be taking Let's these guys out and the sneak damage and you can see just how much chill rend is far better wow and this scamp did a lot of damage to us already let's take his gold we can also take his scamp skin as now chemical ingredient uh we don't want this guy to die so Hopefully we can keep him alive as long as possible. Uh, down goes the second scamp. I don't think we're going to find a bed in the Daedric Realm of Oblivion. And the Daedric Realm of Oblivion is quite difficult to navigate. Um, quite difficult in and of itself. Where is this guy? And why is combat music still playing? There's multiple levels in here. Where is this guy? Where did he go? Well, we're not going to care too much about companions because for this exact reason, basically. All right, so we have uh, two doorways to choose from. I love this Night Mother's Caress spell. I've never really... I don't think I've ever bought it and used it before. Um, let's take a look at our quest. Breaking the Siege of Kvatch. At least one survivor of the assault on the Oblivion Gate has been taken to the large tower within Oblivion. I need to search for him there. And that's what we're doing. So we can go over there. Oh, there you are. All right, buddy. I, I would love for you to stay alive, so we're going to save copiously. Remember I got a comment recently, somebody saying, don't... <laughs> it was funny because he was like, don't... Uh... Okay, wait, this is rending halls, and is this going to be the same thing? He was like, don't reload saves, that's cheating! And then he said, you cuck, in all capital, capital uh, letters, and I thought, man, okay. 
Just calm down there, buddy. Like, man, for people that have that much hatred in their hearts over something as paltry as loading a save, how are you gonna how are you gonna maneuver how are you gonna maneuver life, buddy? Like, just wait till actual problems start happening in your life, man. You're not gonna be ready for them. I'm telling you, you need to let stuff like that go, um, especially in a game like this where. A lot of people are saying that, you know, the difficulty is so ridiculous and it scales so terribly. I think if we walk into Josh these things here, we work. actually get hurt. Okay, yeah. Let's, um, again, let's remember. We're going to take the Daedra Hearts because they're sort of rare. Let's remember to, but not as rare as in Skyrim, because we're going to find a lot more Daedra in this uh, playthrough. No! I mean... It's gonna be really hard keeping this guy alive, honestly. So I think I'm good with him dying. He doesn't. He just doesn't have. Uh, doesn't have a lot of health. Doesn't have a lot of health. And honestly, all right. You know what? We're gonna reload the auto save. No, wait. That's at the start. Never mind. I thought it was gonna be through the rending halls, but it's not. So no, we're gonna keep Illand here dead, unfortunately, um, because he's just he's just not gonna survive. And I want to get through this Oblivion Tower quickly because I hate Oblivion Towers. I don't think that they're a good game. I mean, I think the idea is good. The Blood Feast, the Blood Feast, and Citadel, Citadel Hall door. I think the idea of the Oblivion Gates are good, but I don't know, man. They're just all the same thing. And it's just, as you can see here, we're, we're trying to get higher and higher. We're trying to get to the top of that beam. Very reminiscent of the Eye of Sauron. And just pure evil. Corridors of dark salvation. It's kind of an oxymoron, don't you think? How can salvation be dark? I don't know. I guess if you're an evil character, right? You can experience salvation. And I guess it would be dark salvation. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like the, the, the CEOs of Hot Topic designed this place. You know what I mean? All right. Let's take out our bow, even though we're not going to be able to insta-kill them with one shot, which is really the whole point. Oh, well... You can also just immediately realize that I'm here. Okay, Chill Rend is doing work, though. I hate saying that phrase. Doing work. I don't like that. It sounds really lame to me. But, nevertheless, it is doing work. Some sort of work. And this scamp just did not realize where he lived. Because, I mean, come on, man. Like, how long have you been working here? You don't know about the wall spikes? The bloody wall... Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Uh, Chill Rend is probably going to lose charge at some point. But it is carrying us currently. It's doing a great job. What do we have here? Citadel Hall door needs a key, which we do not have, I believe, right? Yep, we need the key. So what else do we have? We have a plane of oblivion, which will take us outside. And we have another thing that needs a key. It's probably going to be mirrored on this side, I would imagine. Nope, nothing there. And nothing here. So looks like our only option is to go out to the plane of oblivion, which... Should take us to a bridge, if I remember right. Aha! Yes, indeed. Now we can take a look at the entire plane of Oblivion. Um, look at that. Look at the render distance. We can see the scamp down there. I mean, I like Oblivion, but I just... I don't know. The From what I remember, um, the... Okay, someone's firing stuff at us. From what I remember, the... Um, everything's just too similar. Like, no matter which plane... No matter which door of Oblivion you take, it's all the same layout, pretty much. But I could be wrong. I was wrong about the Persuasion Wheel. There are things that I'm wrong about in this game, even though I've played it, you know, a million times. So, anyways, let's head into the Reaper Sprawl. What I always find funny about this... Over here. Oh, okay. Dang it. I thought Illin, like, had come back to life somehow. We have a corpse here. Should not have healed there, but I didn't mean to. We can go downstairs or upstairs. Wow, that's a far down. Look at that. In the cage. Over here. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Just hold your horses. All right, what do we have here? Jamora Sigil Keeper. So this is sort of the boss. Our willpower is being drained. Well, no worries. I have tons of willpower. In real life, though. I'm not sure about Darvesh. Sigil Keep Key. Wonderful. Okay, let's put away our weapons when we talk to people. Got to remember to do that in Oblivion. Uh, Minion Gonald. Quickly, quickly, there's no time. You must get to the top of the large tower. The sigil key, they call it. That's what keeps the oblivion gate open. Find the sigil stone. Remove it and the gate will close. Hurry, the keeper has the key. You must get the key. Yeah, I already did that. How do you think I can talk to you, buddy? Um, how does he know that, right? Like, how does he know that? Does he speak Dramora? Does he speak... I don't know what the language would be, I'm sure... 
One of you nerds is going to tell me in the comment section below. Whenever I say nerds, I'm trying to make a joke. I don't actually... I'm a nerd too, obviously. I just... Not as, as big of a nerd for lore as a lot of you guys are. Anyways, let's open this cage up. We can't. All right. Well, take the key. Get to the sigil keep and find the sigil stone. It's the only way. Don't worry about me. There's no time. Get moving. I mean, I'm sure we could, like, open this thing up, right? Like, honestly, you can't just climb out. It looks like the top's open. So, I mean, it's kind of like a ladder. You see how it's like a ladder? Okay. Well, suit yourself, buddy. I, you know, can't help everybody. Now, they want me to go open the door, and I'm not sure if we have to go back this way. Yeah, it looks like... I mean, we're trying to get to the top of that tower. Is that the tallest tower? Yeah, um, I'm not sure if this is the right way or not, but we'll just see for one quick second. So, let's head over to the locked doors. Door open with sigil key. It is indeed. Okay. And, yeah, uh, when you're in a plane of oblivion, when you're in a, a... I don't know what you would call it, a tower of oblivion... Why are you so low health, dude? You can't you can't come at me with being that low health. Uh, you want to go up and up and up. You're always trying to go up, and you're trying to get to, as our friend there said, the um, sigil stone. Now, this is going down, but I'm not sure if this is the right way. Yeah, it, it can be confusing, as you can see. A lot of the places look very similar. A lot of the corridors, they all have names like Blood Eternal and, you know, the Spray of Blood and shit like that. Oh. Did we already find it? Okay. I think I remember how to manipulate this, and I'll show you guys a little bit of manip- Oh. Oh, right. Okay. Ruined portal to the blood feast. This will take us up, and then we've definitely got some more Jamortified. Also, the punished, which serve as little treasure chests here. Uh, light. Don't think I need light. A lot of you guys are telling me to use my night eye, but I don't know if I've mentioned in the series before that this game is a pain in the ass to balance both audio and visual. The louds are very loud, the lows are very low, um, and then the brightnesses are super bright while the darks are super dark. So it's incredibly annoying to try to balance, uh, more so than a lot of other games. Okay. We're still on normal difficulty, right? I have to check every now and then just because it seems like... Yeah, sometimes it seems like we're doing far better than we are. Well, you guys can see how good Chill Rend is. Um, Daedric Hearts weigh two each, but I'll take one anyways. Okay, I think we've got a couple more places to go. Yeah, we've got at least this door here. Sigilum Sanguis. Very easy lock. Really? The Dremora, like, lock their doors with human locks? Like, my lock picks work on them? Okay. All right, let's put that away. I think we've got an altar of blood, which will heal us, so we can actually save that if we need it. Um, in fact, let's save the game now. Because this is pretty much the end room here. And I don't know if you guys heard. I've always loved these little... I think I mentioned this in the last Let's Play as well. I, I love the, um, the design of this little bridge here. It just looks so vibrant to me. Okay, we've got a couple of scamps. Let's dodge those fireballs and go for the Conjurer. I don't know if he conjured that scamp. Probably not. Die, dude! Oh, no. My illusion is being drained. Oh, God. God forbid. Yeah, this guy can actually kill me. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Let's use some potions here. Um... Okay. Potion of healing sounds good to me. Two will do the trick. You can tell this guy is... Harder than the rest, the Dramora Caitiff. But he will still fall. And the sad thing about this is that, uh, okay, our Chill Rend is out of charge, unfortunately. The sad thing about this is that he's got some really sick Dramora armor, or Daedric armor. But the only thing we can take is his shield and his weapon. Because if we loot him, you guys can see that uh, we can't take anything else. But he does have a Reveler of Iniquity. Sure. And a Dramora Caitiff Shield, which is only valued at 48 gold and weighs a whopping 24. So we're going to leave that. Uh, we've also got all of these chests here. Which, again, is called the Punished, which sounds gross because it sounds like humans were turned into that. And as dumb as what I'm about to say sounds, and it just sounds dumb because I can't quite eloquently explain it. Um, 
I always hate when like humans are turned into things in movies and TV and games and stuff. Like, it's I, I hate loss of identity. If that makes sense. Like, um, if anybody remembers the Super Mario Brothers movie, yeah, it's a thing. Look it up. Um, when the king was turned into like mushrooms or whatever. Like, as a kid, I was I was like, no, that sucks. That sucks so bad because he's turned into mushrooms. Again, I know that sounds stupid, but it's just always been something that that resonates with me. Anyway, so here we have the Sigil Stone, and what we're going to do is, again, save the game. I'll show you guys. I, I think this is... Okay, so there's a thing you can do, right? And um, it's it's kind of game-breaking, and we're not about breaking the game on my series. We're not about difficulty. Some people join, they're like, wow, put the difficulty above normal, dude. You call yourself a YouTuber? But they don't understand. My series are not about difficulty. It's just about enjoying a long windy... It's about 100%ing more than anything at a standard difficulty. But regardless, um... Yeah, my, my, my Let's Plays are not about you know, breaking the game or glitches or anything like that. But when I can show you them, I will show you them because you know, the the Let's Play is part about, partly about showing you guys all the game has to offer. So... Uh, what you want to do is, when you come to the top of an Oblivion Gate, when you are at the Sigil Stone, which is this ball in front of us, uh, we want to save the game. And I don't know if you have to save before you enter the room with the Sigil Stone, but I'm pretty sure it's when you're in front of the Sigil Stone. Now, if we activate it... Okay, so we got Subjacent Sigil Stone. We got something in our inventory. So we go into our inventory and go to... It must be down here, right? Yeah. Uh, we can see in stones, we have subjacent. Fire damage 10 points on strike. Light 30 feet on self. Now, if we click it... Yeah, enchanted item click to change. Um, we can add an item. So we could do, for instance... Hell, we could do the Langerwine Blade. And... Oh, does it give you two options depending on... Okay, so effects to be applied. So you can see it's it's basically an enchantment that you can add to any unenchanted weapons or armor. So you can see um, it's going to give the Langerwine Blade fire damage 10 points on strike, which is just good because that's just a bonus, right? That's just bonus damage. But if we switch this out for what? Iron Curus? Yeah, cool. So I don't know if this is how it always is, if it gives you a weapon and a, an armor enchantment, but you can see it's going to give us... Um, an armor enchantment here, light 30 feet on self, which is terrible for a stealthy character because it just reveals yourself to other people. Uh, so we're going to exit now. And what we're going to do is we're going to load that save again, right? And if we activate this now, hopefully it's a different sigil stone. Let's see. It's adjacent. It's adjacent again, which is not good. Um, unless we're severely unlucky and it just gave us the same thing. Or are they all named? No, 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 no. Okay, this is different. Yeah, disintegrate weapon, 20 points on strike. And then fortify blunt, 8 points on self. So again, it's, um, it's two, you know, it's a weapon enchantment and an armor enchantment. You can choose. Okay, so disintegrate weapon, 20 points on strike. I'm not sure. I don't know if that enchantment's good or not. Obviously, that just means that if their weapon is close to breaking, it'll just disintegrate it. Um... Or wait, no, maybe if you just keep doing... Like, if the weapon's at 100 durability and you hit them five times with Disintegrate 20 points, that should just destroy the weapon, right? And then they, they don't have a weapon to use. So that sounds good. I don't know if it's actually good or not. Now, we're going to do this a couple more times because I would really like to show you guys something that um, is legitimately game-breaking. Legitimately. And when I say legitimately, I mean legitimately. And a lot of you probably are. <coughs> excuse me. Again, the sickness. The sickness that I have to li that I have to live with. Um, a, pr a lot of you probably already know about this, and I believe I mentioned this in the last let's play. So uh, some people were saying I shouldn't keep saying that. That you get it. I did a let's play before, but it's just to I don't know. Expand upon that. Anyways, so this one gives a shock damage and then shock shield. Uh, we're looking for one specific one though. We're looking for one specific enchantment, and I don't know how rare it is to get it, so we'll probably do this just a couple more times and see if we can get lucky. And then maybe I'll try loading and reloading over and over. Shock damage and night eye. Yeah, that's completely useless. Not the shock damage, but, you know. Um, yeah, we'll just try this a couple more times to see if we get lucky with the enchantment that I'm trying to get. 
because that would be wonderful. It would be really cool. I don't know if we have to wait that long either. I'm not sure if the thing just gets in our inventory automatically. Turn undead and detect life. So you can see it's just random enchantments, and some of them are super good. Some of them are, you know, meh. Um, it all depends, but you can just save and reload over and over until you get the stuff that you want, basically. So, that's a big tip for y'all. Now, let's see if it will automatically give this to me. No, we have to wait till the uh, pop-up shows up. There we go. Frost damage and resist frost. Okay, so, ba oh, that's interesting. Frost damage. So, basically, uh, what I'm trying to do here is reload until I get chameleon. Now... I'm not sure if there is a level. I'm not sure if, if these sub if these uh, sigil stones um, scale for your level. Like frost damage, ten points. I'm not sure if that increases if your level is increased. I don't know. So, I yeah. What we're waiting for here is chameleon, which is basically a part invisibility enchantment. Um, and I've explained this before, I think. But basically, what you want to do. Oh, you know what? We can't even. Huh. No, we can't even do this without exploiting anyways. Yeah. Well, that was... Yeah, that was the case. Anyway, I, I'm, not, I'm not making sense. Anyways, um, you want to keep doing this until you get... I believe the enchantment is... You see Resist Frost 20% on self. Instead, it says Chameleon 20% on self, right? Now, since you can equip five pieces of armor... Helmet, Curus, Gauntlets, uh, Greaves, and Boots, right? So you get 20%... Sigil stone for chameleon on each of those five pieces 20% times five or 20 times five is a hundred, right? So that's a hundred percent chameleon and that means you are Legitimately invisible and no one can detect you. You actually can't even see your character without a sort of like detect life spell or something or some Some spell around you that shows where you where you are because you are legitimately Invisible you I, I, I swear I hope I can do this for you guys because it's actually really cool um, but we're not going to use it because it, it legitimately breaks the game. Like, enemies cannot see you no matter what. They li literally can't see you. It's pretty funny. So if you guys want to be a god in this game, uh, just keep, relo keep reloading until you get the chameleon sigil stone. And then you can, I forget if you can, I mean, there's multiple oblivion gates. So maybe if you want to do it the legitimate way, you can go to five different ones and keep reloading until you get a chameleon one for each one. Or you can just duplicate uh, the chameleon 20% four times and you'll have, and then just apply that to, you know, standard armor. And then you, you'll be legitimately invisible. And I've done it before and it's fun, but it's just ridiculous. Like, it, it's, it's, it, it's, I swear to God, it breaks the game. It, it just, you're visible and no one can do anything. Um, so let's reload until we get a decent one. I know I'm talking a lot. Hopefully you guys don't mind that because this is a very interesting part of the game. Especially for people that are interested in this sort of thing. Uh, but we'll just reload until we get a decent one that we can apply. Absorb agility, fortify agility. That's pretty lame. I uh, just want, like, a uh, shock. Let's actually save the game right here. Yeah, yeah we'll try this a couple more times. Or if, if that doesn't work out, I'll just um, cut to when I got a good one. Okay. What do we got this time? Burden, 40 points for 30 seconds on strike. Feather, 50 points on self. Uh, feather, 50 points is not bad, but burden, I don't... Burden's an interesting one because it will literally put 50 points of weight on the opponent. And if they're encumbered, then they can't move. So that's cool. What do we have here? Fire damage. Okay, there we go. Just wanted something like this. Something just a standard flat um, damage. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and leave. Uh, but Sigil Stones are a big part of Oblivion. And once you grab them... Oh, crap. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I think I'm dead. Oh, no. That happens automatically. Okay, I thought I had to, like, activate a... A, uh, a rune or something to transport out of there. I've closed the gate by taking the Sigil Stone that anchors it within Oblivion. I should tell Savlian Mantius that the way into Kavach is now open. So yeah, you get a nice little enchantment that is basically a free enchantment. You can put it on any piece of equipment. Again, you can save and load until you get the perfect stuff that you want. Um, that's a bit, you know, cheap to do, but it's up to you guys if you want to do it. And then you can also do the chameleon if you really want to be cheap. It's ridiculous, but you should all try it one time if you haven't before. Okay, 
Hello, scamp. Looks like you're the last remaining survivor. Good for you, little buddy. Our chill rend. Oh my god. He's doing a lot of damage to us. Okay, yeah, looks like chill rend is out. Oh shit, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Man, our character is really kind of underpowered because he's a stealth character. We just don't have the damage to kill things in one hit. Um, rev rev Revealer. Did I say Reveler? I said Reveler, didn't I? Revealer of Iniquity. Um, we need something that increases our blade. Sufferthorn is broken. Crap, we need to repair a lot of stuff. Okay, let's just go for Shadow Hunt and we're kind of using silver arrows. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, yeah, we need to um, stay way back. We also need to not hit the guards that are helping us. Okay, nice job, everybody. Let's go find what's his face. Close the gate. I knew you could do it. This is our chance to launch a counterattack. I need you to come with us. You've got far more combat experience than these men. I don't think so, honestly. You to join us now. I can wait, but not for long. We've got to move quickly before they have a chance to barricade the city gate. I'm ready. Let's go. Porkavanch! Okay, so we are mounting a counterattack on the city of Kavach. Yeah, all of that was just to remove the gate, the Daedric Gate. And um, just like with Skyrim, you have to get to a certain point before uh, a big gameplay mechanic starts appearing. And I don't want to say, well, ugh, I mean, yeah, you have to get to a certain point before dragons start appearing regularly. Just like in Oblivion, you have to get to a certain point before... Oblivion gates start appearing regularly. And then every time you go in one, you can get a sigil stone. I have entered the ruined city of Kavach with Savli and Matthias and his men. We must clear the southern plaza before the survivors in the chapel can be rescued. So let's do it. We need to hang back and just perform the role of bowman. Uh, because we are really low health and we have no magicka to cast Night Mother's Caress. But, ow, no, Jesus, we almost, no, okay, please tell me it auto-saved, right there, dude, what, what are the auto-saves in this game, why aren't they, corridors of dark, really, oh boy, alright, well, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, this time I got the shock 20 points, which just sounds better to me than fire 10 points, but I guess fire burns. I, I don't know. Anyways, let's try this again. Uh, obviously, these guys are really tough. Like, they're dealing a lot of damage to me, and we just don't have the damage output uh, with this bow. We just need to do a good job of avoiding their fireballs. And where's that clan fear runt at? Yeah, we just need to get some marksmen. We need to get some sneak. So that uh, we can sneak, one-shot kill these things. Otherwise, we're going to be pretty gosh darn useless without a dagger. Their agility is being drained. Just one of those effects that seems really cool. But doesn't really have all that much... Are you guys just watching? Oh, you guys are firing bows too? Okay, cool. Welcome to the bow club. Okay, burden of secrecy. Steel arrow, alluring gaze. Very nice. You are over encumbered. Not very nice. What do we have here that we can drop? How much does this weigh? 43 pounds. My gosh. Okay. Well, let's... Uh, is there anything else that we have? Steel bow. 10 pounds. Yeah. Claymore. War axe. There we go. Okay, looks like we have one more scamp to take down. I have helped Savli and Matthias and his men retake the southern plaza should talk to him about our next move. Let's go ahead and do that. Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> we wiped the bastards out. It's safe to pull those people out of the chapel. Let's get in there and make sure they're all right. Come on. This is only the beginning of the battle for Kabach. We can discuss the next phase once the civilians are safe. Okay. I've always liked Savly and Mattias. Seems like a very good guy. And we're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we will continue with the Siege of Kvatch. And I will see you guys there. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.